Hey guys, Hachiman here. And here I've got another replay for my multi-part patent review. This is the M46 Tier 9 patent. Uh, and in this review, I am still running with the 90mm gun from the Pershing. If you believe in what XPM tells us, this is a pretty even matchup at 49%. They've got a Unicum and a Super Unicum on their team, which we do not. And that's okay. Um, good matchup for the patent, even though I do have the wimpy gun. Now, you see the map, everyone recognizes this map. And because I don't have the big gun, I'm not in a huge hurry to get in a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight with anything. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to take this little tree-covered grassy knoll, which is usually a home for TDs. And the reason I'm going to do that is because with some good spotting, I'll get some shots in the sides of the enemy heavies as they rush down the A-line. And this gun's very accurate, so I can do that. Now, real quick, let me pause it. You see I'm running 70 rounds of premium APCR HVAP ammunition. And I'm doing that because I went into a run where I was getting into a bunch of tier 10 games with a bunch of tier 10 heavies, and I just said, to hell with this, I'm going to make sure I can do some damage. Um, and I was grinding for the 105 anyway, so call me a noob if you want to. If I can't do damage, I can't help the team win. Put a shell into the Awful Panther as he charges our Awful Panther. Oh, he turned just before I fired my shot. I should have anticipated that. Doesn't matter. E75 gets the kill. Now we got some enemy tanks making that push. Can't quite get a shot on anything yet. Be patient. That KV-5. Good shot into his side. Will I get another shot? No. Okay. There's that object 430. There we go. No. Nope. Alright, let's focus on this STI. And... Good shot. I might get another one as he comes through here if I can see him, but it doesn't look like I'm going to. Nope. Eh, probably shouldn't have even bothered with that shot. Low percentage at best. We're up two kills already, though they were a scout and a tier 7 TD. And then there's a Comet. He's taken that group of houses in that BC45 area, and I'm, I just don't accept that. Now here you get to see how quickly this tank can maneuver and get into a position to do something. I'm pretty sure from doing a count of the, ma of the ma uh, tanks in the southeast and up in the city that this comet has little to no support. He anticipated my movement and missed and then I returned the miss. But my point was not necessarily to kill him myself but to back him out so the TDs could finish him. Black Prince who I cannot see bounces a shot off me but he's somewhere down maybe in Delta Zero. And then I'm looking across the city, I have no shots, which is not unexpected, but I realize we're surrounding their guys up there. I've got an opportunity to get in on this, help my team flank these guys, and finish this group of enemy tanks very, very quickly. Now, even though we're up 4-1, to one, XVM still says we're only 49% to win, because their two super unicums are still alive, as well as a couple nasty tier, other tier 9 tanks. We just lost a Tiger. In fact, we just lost... Our advantage, we're already even again. And I'm very aware right now that the southeast is dying, but we have to finish these guys first. Bounce off the back of the KV-5 really annoys me. Hit, destroy the STI, and now we just have to kill this object as quickly as possible. I'm willing to trade a shot here or there and someone else gets the kill. Now, Southeast is done. We've got at least five enemy tanks down there that we know of. Only one of which we have detected, and 
I call for defending the base, so does our Lurva. And so we start making the mad dash back. Fortunately, at 40-something kph, I'm fast enough that I can do this. I don't know what our AMX M445 is doing. And I return... Yeah. I decide I want to return to the hill so that I can get a little elevation. T32 is tracked, put a good shot into him. Actually, it's a low damage roll, really. And someone else kills him, that's fine. T30, no chance of pending that shot, not even a prayer. Gun mantlet tilted backwards, no chance, but. Yeah, if I could have hit the cheek there, I had a chance, but missed. This is not a high percentage shot at all, but I don't even know why I fired that shot. And then I get hit by their Super Unicum, their T-54, firing premium ammunition for 348 damage. So that hurt a little bit, but for now we have stomped their charge. We've got two tanks remaining behind, a T-20 and a KV-5 plus those two guys in Delta-1, I'm fairly confident that they can hold off the enemy long enough. I'm also fairly confident that if it turns sour, I can get back. So I'm charging the enemy base with the AMX M445. Guy says dangerous T-54 in south. He's wrong, actually. The T-54 is currently hovering somewhere around Golf 9. And I know that based on where he hit me from. I know he's not down there. Not in the south, at least. Southeast, maybe. I want to spot either that Black Prince or that T-28 prototype. Can't quite find them. Someone's shooting at my Yog Tiger behind me, so they see him. There's the Black Prince. I don't. That was a mistake. I locked on there, which of course made my shell go for the thickest part of the armor. There we go. Hit him on the beak. There's the T-28 Proto, but I can't worry about him right now. Just missed. I should have moved a little bit more. He's tracked. Another good shot. Missed that one. A little bit of RNG there. Mm. Ate it by... His shot went a little low. Tracks ate it. Missed. Yeah. Playing too much cat and mouse here. Secure the kill on the S-51. We gotta get these two tanks dead quickly because those guys in the south are pushing. The T-54 did finally start to push our base. So we have we don't have any more time to waste. <clears throat> I take one shot at where the T-28 prototype was. Back up for a hair of cover take another shot. I saw the bounce, the impact in the ground, so I know he's not there anymore. We just finally lost our cover. Bounced off the gun mantlet. Because we have no cover, I know now we have to move. <clears throat> Missed the kill shot on the Black Prince, and I said, that's it. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. So I start my charge. Speed up time here. He secures the kill on the Black Prince. And now we got to kill this T-28 prototype. I drive through to Cap, and I do it on purpose. I want that T-54 to know we're capping him. Maybe he'll think about coming back to defend. Oh, snapshot missed. I take a hit from the T-28 proto. He is not using the 120. So I put another shot into him. He's down to 190, and there's the kill. Now, I call for our guys to cap. In fact, a lot of people do. And I say three on cap now because I don't know what that T-54 is doing. So here we go. We're capping, we're capping, we're capping. I don't know where the T-54 is, but he's not capping, so he has to be coming back to defend. Problem is, with this cap circle in this map, as you can see, there's no cover. There's absolutely none. 
The T-54 just killed 